Hi, welcome to Asian Garden Today Book. In this video, we will talk more details about growing celery seedlings. Celery is very easy vegetable to grow, but starting celery seedling is a bit time consuming and challenging. Since fresh celery is so fragrant and delicious, it's truly worth the time and work we put into. The best temperature for celery seed to germinate is 59 to 68 degree. Temperature too low will slow down germination. Too high will inhibit germination. In warm weather, in order to make germination faster and better, we should give seed some cold exposure. After soaking the seed for 12 hours, store in refrigerator for 24 hours. Then sow in seed starter. Celery sprout is very skinny and fragile, so cover the seed with very thin layer of soil to just enough to bury the seed. Keep the soil wet all the time. In one to two weeks, celery will emerge. Celery seed is very tiny. You will see the seedlings are crowded and tiny. Try to not disturb them. When the seedlings grow at least three leaves, it is time to separate the seedlings. Use fingers to pinch the stem together with some root to separate the plant from the plug. It is okay to break some roots. As far as the main stem is not damaged, new root will grow out easily. At the beginning, the seedling grow very slowly. It usually takes more than one and a half month from sowing to growing three to four leaves. Please be patient and make sure water well and supplement some water dissolvable fertilizer. Celery plant can tolerate temperature low to 25 degree and up to 95 degree. Since it takes long time to grow seedlings, we should start the seed at least one and a half month before growing season. The best temperature for celery to grow is 54 to 72 degree. Make sure the seedling ready to transplant when the climate temperature falls into optimal range. Celery will produce the best flavor and texture. Fill seed starter cells with potting mix to halfway. Put one or two plants in a cell. Now fill the seed starter cell all the way up. Make sure the root and main stem are covered and leave the stalks outside. There are great benefits of separating celery seedlings. It produces stronger seedlings and allows you to grow in garden in proper density. With proper plant distance, the celery stalks will grow thick and long with great quality. You will easily find that you have so many seedlings after separating them from field plugs, use mist sprayer to fully water the seedlings after separating them from the plugs. Add water in the tray to halfway. It is important for the seedlings to have enough water to recover from the separation. Keep them in shady place for the first 3 to 4 days. Move them back in the sun after new root grow and care them like regular seedlings. In about four weeks, celery seedlings will grow stronger and bigger and are ready to transplant in your garden. If you still have extra seedling plugs left, transplant in your garden. These plugs will grow very fast and produce vivid stalks and leaves. You can harvest young stalks and leaves very soon. This is all for today. In next video, I will share with you how to transplant celery seedlings and care of them in your garden. I will also show you the growth comparison between separated single plant and the clusters. If you find our video helpful, please give us a thumb up. Subscribe to our channel for more videos to come. Welcome to visit our website at asiangardentoday.com. We have a great variety of Asian vegetable seed for you to purchase. Thank you very much for your support. I will see you next time.